After decades of struggle, the Northern Territory buffalo industry believes the cards are finally stacked in its favour. Buffalo is proving a plentiful and cheap alternative export to beef. This report for Landline's Christy O'Brien and Hamish Harty. Top end station manager Adrian Phillips is known as a bit of a buffalo whisperer. Well, it was the buffalo that I made money out of, you know, black gold and the territory, eh? Adrian runs 700 buffalo alongside 3,500 cattle. He thinks the buffalo trade is on the precipice of finally getting a good foothold. And he's not alone. There's been ups and downs in the industry and we really feel that this is a period of huge opportunity. Part of that's because of the high price of cattle and the other is the opportunities to the north in Southeast Asia and obviously because of uh, COVID, some of the suppliers internationally are no longer there and Indonesia particularly is very keen not just to have our live buffalo but also to get boxed buffalo meat. The Central Agri Group reopened the Rum Jungle Abattoir in December 2019. In 2020, the abattoir processed 7,000 head of buffalo. What has changed is we have an abattoir that is operational. That is the one big thing that has changed. That has now gone from 20% or 30% of the animals could be sold to now, right now, right now, nearly 100% could be sold. Live export numbers have been growing steadily. For the first time in 2020, exports surpassed 10,000 head of buffalo from the Darwin port. Prices were also the highest they'd ever been. Buffalo and cattle are essentially one and the same, but do have different price points in the wet markets especially. And uh, so the Northern Territory uh, buffalo meat is seen as, as top of the range. The NT buffalo industry is currently valued at $11 million. But demand far outstrips supply. And it's not because of a lack of animals. Currently, thousands of buffalo are culled every year to keep numbers down, particularly on Indigenous lands. The idea of shooting animals and leading them to rot just doesn't sit well with many in the industry who see this as a valuable resource going to waste, particularly when the hungry middle class in Asia is crying out for more protein. This shooting to waste is ridiculous. Adrian says he's come across plenty of young Indigenous men who do well in the buffalo industry. Some of the best stockmen I've ever employed out there catching and mustering are Indigenous. This is a great opportunity to get some real work happening in their country. Most of the buffalo are on country. Let's make it work. <laughs>